Hi Taurus, this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. So we can look at the cards, get a sense of the messages from what we see, and that can help shape and guide the month for us. So let's see what we have. I've already shuffled these cards quite a bit. Give them a few more shuffles. Okay, Taurus, let me take a look. Let me get these centered up here. So, so what's interesting is we have, just right off the bat, no cups as I'm looking at this. And we have three major arcana cards kind of setting the tone for this reading. So. We're starting with celebrations in June, that there's recognition, that there is uh, perhaps a family outing or something that you're attending. You can see the couple here, they're raising their hands in joy and they're gonna walk through these, this portal here, perhaps to, uh, to enjoy new freedoms away from the homestead, maybe it's starting a new life. Often when we see the Four of Wands, we're talking about marriage we call it a marriage card or an engagement card, but it could be a recognition or celebration of an anniversary, a birthday, graduation, something that brings people together and a milestone or, or something important again to, to be recognized. In June, you need to keep your eyes open and your sixth sense perhaps here we have the Seven of Swords. In the Seven of Swords, we see this guy walking away from the camp. He's looking over his shoulder. He has five swords. He's left behind two swords. This can suggest that there's maybe someone uh, not being very truthful that you're going to be interacting with, someone that is shady, someone that is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Uh, it could be someone uh, perhaps taking taking an unfair amount as well. You know, this Seven of Swords, it, it's a card that you, you have to just, listen, we see this all the time. We have people that are less than forthcoming. And when they are less than forthcoming, uh, situations arise. And so as long as that you use your practical sense, being an earth sign, and you probably can tell right off the bat, you know, when sometimes when people say things, you get a sense of really what, uh, you know, what they're all about. But just be mindful of that. Some may say it's a card of wanting to be the lone wolf to get away, but honestly, I always feel uh, just by looking at this illustration that this is much more of someone is trying to pull one over on you. And so you really have to be sharp and be on top of things. So as we get into these major arcana cards, we have the Hermit. And the Hermit is a card of, you know, get, taking this lamp, climbing the mountain, putting yourself in solitude or isolation to the best uh, way possible for you within your life. You may have kids, you may have a busy life, it may be hard to do, but you need to do this because this is giving you time to reflect, uh, to gain information, to gain enlightenment, illumination on what's going on in your life. What is happening? How are things? Where are you right now? Where have you been? What are you thinking about doing in the future? And so it's really taking a time out from all of the 
social activities in June for you to really kind of reset, uh, you know, reset for yourself, but reset with your feelings, your thoughts, and going from there. That's information that empowers you to know thyself uh, and to check in is a really wonderful skill to have. So with this sense of intelligence, self-intelligence of information that you're getting at and that you're thinking about, here we have the world. And the world is such a cool card. See the woman here, she's got a purple sash, kind of represents psychic uh, ability. She's got the wands and this is a card of fulfillment, of being content, of fulfilling your goal, your hope, your dream. That a cycle has gone full, uh, full circle and, and you've come out on top. So there is a sense of recognition with this. Something that you've done, here we have recognition, we also have recognition here. Perhaps something you've done is getting recognized. But this is a sense of accomplishment and your con contribution to the world. What do you do for the world? This just doesn't end here. There's always something next. There's always something next that a new project, a new opportunity, a new experience. So this is enjoy this success, take pride in it, celebrate it. You've done well despite people coming and going and maybe not having your best interest at heart, you've done well, you are successful. There's recognition here. And you've done well in light of some petty skirmishes here that you've had to endure perhaps. The Five of Wands. I always call this card to myself, I think to myself, this is like the day, this is the annoyance card where people are uh, bickering, perhaps arguing, uh, egos involved, positioning, not working well together. These folks, uh, they, whether they're competing, healthy competition, but whatever it is, it doesn't look like it's working. So this is a bit of disharmony, not a deal breaker. This we can work with. We can figure this out, we can find a way to lessen these arguments, but you know, despite this, this, you know, this potential here for petty conflict or arguments, you know, you still have success. And I think a big issue here when we see this justice card, and I have to say justice has been really turning up a lot for the different signs. Justice is about fairness, it's about truthfulness honesty, acting with integrity, and making decisions that are fair. This sword is straight up and down. A decision will be made, a balanced decision. But there are issues of equality and fairness. And maybe this piece here is playing into some of your Discussions, whether at the office, whether it's in relationships, somebody's not being straight to the point, or very honest, or perhaps doing something underhanded and it's getting noticed, it causes conflict. So, you know, when I see justice, it's about integrity, it's about knowing better of the path to take to act fairly, to act honestly, to look at your own actions and see how, where they, where they turn out. So rounding out this, these cards, we have the three of wands and the three of wands is a fire, it's an elemental fire card and it's about passions and this is about uh, looking at the big picture. Where are you headed? What are you doing? Where are you going? What do you want to create? What do you want to build? Do you want to leave where you are right now? Is that something that you could tolerate? So he's looking out at the horizon and he's thinking about 
what the long view is. So there's leadership, there's exploration. On a literal level, this could suggest travel in June, that you are going somewhere. You know, and as you're considering this future and what you want to do and what you want to manifest, what you want to create, the next p piece of the puzzle within your life, here's the Two of Swords. And this Two of Swords is she's blindfolded, Covering her heart with the two swords, sitting there. Twos often relate to decisions. And so maybe this energy is you're, you want to do something, but you are not ready to face some of the truth or the facts of the matter or the facts of, the, of what might have to occur as you manifest and do something else. This two of swords is, uh, you know, not seeing and not letting anything in, feeling rather stuck in making a decision. Here we have make a fair decision. Here you may not want to be dealing with a situation and you could be putting it off, but it's something in the back of your mind, Taurus, which is you are uh, you, you, you've got a couple things going on and you're not quite sure of how to handle it. So again, what's interesting is no cups. We have lots of wands. We have three wands cards. We have two swords and majors. So we also don't have pentacles either. So Fighting over passions, uh, ego, recognition, you know, by and large, I think that, you know, you're doing well here. When we see the world card, that really, that really um, creates a positive feeling for me because the world is about contentment and finding fulfillment in what you've accomplished. And there's recognition. There's some celebrations here. There's some time to reflect. But... Arguments, uh, people being less than forthright, the issue of fairness and e equity may be coming up, and then your own either not wanting to make a decision now or not wanting to deal with it. You're just not ready to deal with it right now. And, you know, thinking about, after the world, what's next for you? Where are you headed next? So let's get a little more information. I'm going to pull a love card. And this is cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person has, and experience has value. It's all a lesson of life, the people that we meet, the things that we do, what we give up, what we uh, insist on. You know, we're building our book of experiences. So this cooperation in, uh, you know, quest to manifest the energy of love. Every person has, ex has every person and experience has value. It's adding adding up the story of your life. And finally, to close the reading, I'm going to choose another oracle card and uh, we'll see what other information will come through. Change and transition. Thank you, uh, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change change and transition. So, you know, transition from one successful project, one successful project to the next thing that you're going to do. Decisions have to be made. There may be arguments or conflicts, perhaps along the way, you will deal with them. You're gonna take the necessary time to reflect and to understand you and you're going to, you know, have, have always at the uh, front of your mind 
the integrity and fairness and justice. I think that's something to always key in on. So Taurus, I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe.